The next time your girl asks you, how do I look? You say, baby, you look tanktastic. Since she won't be speaking to you the rest of the night, that will give you plenty of time to play Tanktastic, the video game. Damn, that scene gives Ikaruga a run for its money. Honey, this chicken dinner is tanktastic. Initially, I was not impressed with the whole graph paper quirky design of the game, because I've seen it before. I think it would be more clever to rip off the background from Showdown in 2100 AD or Armor Attack on the Vectrex. So I could do without the whole graph paper thing, but that's my only gripe, because the rest of the game is terrific, and fans of Robotron 2084, Geometry Wars, Burn Zombie Burn, and I Made a Game with Zombies should look closely at this one, because it has that twin-stick Robotron-style gameplay, but the shooting is different. You're not just pouring out a constant stream of fire. It's shooting three bursts at once, and then there's that pause that seems like an eternity before it fires again. It doesn't sound like much, but that makes all the difference in gameplay and packs some challenge into this one, Tanktastic. I hope that the sequel is called Tank Fabulous. And if you're watching closely, I'm playing as the blue tank through this review. Tanktastic has a variety of challenge levels in addition to good old school multiplayer deathmatch style combat. I'm setting up a game here. You can play with up to three of your friends locally, giving you a four-player game, and you can also add bots into the mix for a total of eight players on screen at once. The game is visually simplistic on purpose, keeping the focus on the gameplay. This makes for a terrific party game, and I'm sure some people would rather see a bit more flash and bang and flair to the graphical style. And like I said, I'd have preferred to see more of a retro theme than the whole graph paper thing. But once you start playing this, you will be immersed in extremely fun gameplay, and that's what's important here. They have succeeded tanktastically. While you can certainly play this as a one-player game, especially the challenge levels, which I'll show you some more of in a moment, Tanktastic is ideally suited for multiplayer, playing with fellow human beings. It's a shame this one doesn't have achievement points or online multiplayer. Maybe the next one will. The game is easily good enough to be a mainstream game because it follows a very tried and true style of gameplay that's been around for about 30 years now. But in making that little tank fire slowly, along with a nice mixture of power-ups, Tanktastic does have its own style, even if it may appear to be a subtle departure from a variety of other games that are similar. If you whip this one out when you have some friends over, if you're all fans of some of those other games that I mentioned, the twin-stick Robotron-style shooters, you'll have a Tanktastic time playing Tanktastic. It would be a tanktrocity to miss it. <laughs> 